I think um, hip hop is a real reflection of um, and so, you know early days, early hip hop, and as you say, like sort of not as it's packaged now, and you know gangster rap and all that stuff. But early hip hop is really socially conscious. It's a social movement, I think, as much as it's an you know it's an artistic movement, but reflective of a social movement and a social consciousness that is about you know at heart, ideally revolution, right? You know, sort of breaking through all of these constraints. Um, and recognizing the systems of inequality and oppression that have kept people geographically segregated because of race and class and all these other things. Um, so I think, and I think that because that is very potent, then sort of popular culture, mass, you know, mass culture, mass media tries to sort of water that down by picking out one or two elements and packaging that as the culture because they don't want to deal with the much more kind of fundamental cultural issues of of injustice and oppression. Um, so, and I think that, I think you can see that sort of bifurcation in hip hop very clearly of sort of like the socially conscious wing, which is really where it gets its start, um, not getting the, the sort of mass attention and the much more um, just sort of superficial aspects in terms of, you know, fashion um, and like, you know, manhood and, you know, jewelry and what champagne you're drinking, you know, that becomes what hip hop is about.